We love finding fun ways for our kids to learn, and what better way to learn through games, or in this case, logic puzzles. Hi, I'm Ambi, and I'm a mother of four-year-old boys, and I love thinky games and logic puzzles. My kids love jigsaw puzzles and building things with connects and duplos, but I wanted to find some more structured physical logic puzzles for them to play with. So here's a list of five physical logic puzzles, or companies that make them, that my kids have enjoyed. First up is Wooden Puzzle Pattern Block by Kugum. This is a wooden puzzle where you're fitting wooden Tetris-shaped poly domino pieces into a grid. There's a booklet that has different difficulty levels from single star to three star, and this can get difficult for adults. The puzzles give you starting configurations and then you have to fill in the rest of the shapes to fill in the whole square. For kids who like jigsaw puzzles, like my kids, this is a good thinky alternative to help with their spatial thinking because you need to figure out which shape can fit where. Sometimes multiple shapes will fit in the spot, but then it won't leave room for the other shapes later. And since the levels can get pretty difficult, this will grow with your child as they grow older. Next up is an electronic toy called Flipside. I got a free copy of this from Moose Toys. In this game, you're trying to match up colors in a square by flipping and sliding the outside colors around the edges. It's got different modes, and it's kind of reminiscent to the electronic toy Simon, except this one you're trying to actually physically move the pieces around so there's more thinking to it instead of just memory. The first mode is called speed mode, and that's the mode that's perfect for my kids, since there's no countdown timer, it's just timing how long it takes them to do a certain number of levels. I was expecting this to be a toy for myself, not for my kids, but when I opened it, my kids immediately understood the goal, and they really like matching the colors. Plus, my kids love the electronic lights and sounds, so this was a surprising thinky puzzle for them to play. Next up, I also got a review copy of the Independent Play Collection from Chip Theory Kids. This has four different games in it, and they're for different age levels. But they're all specifically made for kids to play independently. They come in magnetic tins, and they come with a bunch of sheets, which are the puzzles, and then magnetic pieces that you put on the sheets to solve the puzzle. The games are Sudoku Forest, which is for ages three and up. It's basically mini Sudoku with little animals instead of numbers. Then Tangram Adventure is for ages four and up, and that's just the tangrams with different colors, and some of the puzzles help you by having dots showing where the pieces go. Pixel Party is for ages five and up, and that's another spatial puzzle where you're placing Tetris-like polyomino pieces and trying to match up certain shapes. And Neighborhood Hide and Seek is for ages six and plus, and that's another one with Tetris-like pieces where you're placing them on a board, but each piece has a hole in it that you have to have on uncovered spaces. So I'm not sure about the ages on this, but my kids were able to play all of them. I think Pixel Party was the hardest for them to play independently, and Sudoku Forest was actually a little hard for them to understand because it's a different kind of logic, whereas the spatial ones, they kind of understand what they're doing. But once they played a few puzzles and learned how to do it, they were able to play this independently, which is what it's for. This is called the Independent Play series. So that's pretty neat. The easy difficulties for these are really easy because they're made definitely for the three-year-olds, the four-year-olds. But the harder levels can get a little bit challenging. I think not as challenging as other logic puzzles I've played as an adult, but they can still be for older kids. And the colorful presentation and the chunky magnetic pieces make these really good games for kids and for traveling. Next up is Smart Games Smart Car. Smart Games is a company that has a lot of these different logic puzzles with different themes, but my kid really likes cars, so we played with the Smart Car, and he really liked that. Smart Car is a wooden puzzle where you're fitting colorful blocks into a car to match the image of the car that's shown in the book. The image has different perspectives of the finished solution, so you're looking like from the side, it'll need to look like that, and so you're trying to put these blocks in a 3D car to make it match that image from the side. This is a different type of spatial thinking because you have to think of how two 2D and 3D are related and like convert it from 3D to 2D. And with all the smart games puzzles, there's different difficulty levels so they can enjoy them as well when they get older. Last up is Rush Hour from Think Fun. I received a free copy of Rush Hour World Tour, but that's not the one I would recommend for preschoolers. There's my first Rush Hour, which I haven't actually played, but that's specifically made for preschoolers. Rush Hour is probably one of the more well-known of these logic puzzles. You have a car that you're trying to get out of traffic and you're moving other cars out of the way. It's basically blocks in a grid. You're sliding them around back and forth and you have to move other cars out of the way in order to get the one car out the exit. So the version I own is actually for ages eight plus, I think it's a magnetic travel set. My kids could kind of play it, but the puzzles were a little hard. So I assume my first rush hour would have easier puzzles. It also has really colorful car pieces and that seems like something kids would love. So rush hour is a classic logic puzzle and my first rush hour is specifically for preschool age kids. So those are five companies of logic puzzles that my kids liked. And as I said before, with a lot of these companies, they have multiple different games with different themes. So depending on what your kid likes, you can check out some of the other puzzles with other themes that they might like. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more Thinky Game videos for you and your kids. And to keep up to date with the latest Thinky Game news, you can join the newsletter at thinkygames.com newsletter. Thanks for watching and hope you find some good puzzles for your kids. 
Bye.